coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. Meanwhile, Fields throws taken in by Waddle. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll run on first down. It's Peterson. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They give it to Peterson. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Give him two yards on the gain there, and it will take us to the end of quarter number one. No score after one on EA Sports. Fields on third down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. This offense has definitely been slow getting out of the gate. It's almost like they missed their wake-up call for this one. No points on their first two possessions, and now it's looking like none on this one either. Running for it, here's Peterson. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Back to throw, Fields. And Fields going to have the first down before sliding to a halt to avoid the contact. The last drive, remember, a similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a backup. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back at the 24. The lightning rod, J.J. Watt with a sack. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. T.J. Watt picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And it bangs off the left upright and deflects away. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Montana. Taking a shot for Samuel. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. This will be the first red zone opportunity now for the Rams. They're looking at a first and goal from about the nine. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Raheem Mostert, a nine-yard touchdown run. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Tucker with the extra point, And that makes the score 7-0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. 
And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Flush to his right. And Fields going to have the first down before sliding to a halt to avoid the contact. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, it's Fields. Over the middle, it's complete. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. On first down, Fields. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Open man is Waddle complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 35. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. That's on target, but it's no good. He had it on line, but it came up just shy of the crossbar. So we've come to halftime. It's the visiting Rams taking the lead to the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, fielded just there, outside baby. the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And Charles, they've got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, if there were three talking points at the half, partner, all of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly harped on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Snatched by the safety and Reed. And the Pats are in great shape here as they take over at the 46-yard line. So an opening drive interception to begin this second half. And just think about the time you spent in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it, not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live, and now they've got to find a way out of this hole. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. From the 45 on second down, Fields. And his throw is incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Fields. Looking left side, and it's complete. They'll run for it with Peterson. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Adrian Peterson taking it in from two yards out. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that will tie our game here in the third. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. This will be fielded inside the five. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So the Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. Boy, that's tough, Charles. First play of the drive, you're hoping to stay ahead of schedule. You take that huge sack, and now you're facing second and a mile. And the entire time, you're probably thinking the same thing I was. Either get rid of the ball safely, of course, or go down. The yardage he gave up on that play, 
that's going to be tough for them to make up. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Play action. It's Montana. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. He exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball, and that one was picked off. Here's Peterson. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. 70 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Third down, it's Adrian Peterson. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. But sometimes, Brandon, just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there, a big third down conversion. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Another tote for the workhorse here this afternoon, Peterson. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. First down, here's the run with Peterson. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Steps away to his left. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. All tied up. Less than two minutes to go. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got it second and goal as they look to grab a late lead. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Adrian Peterson. His second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Patriots have taken the lead. Important extra point up and through, and that makes the score 14 to 7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate, and of course they'd like to forget the ending, the interception, but they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once it threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one's going finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. He's back to throw. They'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Montana's throw complete to Flyer Muth. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. And they'll get to him just inside the 15 even after that strong run we witnessed. Back to throw. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score. And my goodness, another interception. 
picked up by Pete Werner. And the Patriots have just about sewn up this football game. That is now five interceptions that he has thrown in this ball game. If I ask you to speculate what's possibly going on in his head, what would you say? Well, if he's as mentally...